The ancient tomb of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, continues to remain shrouded in mystery, as archaeologists remain hesitant to open it. While various parts of the necropolis have been explored, the tomb itself has been left untouched, due to the potential dangers that might lie within. Ancient Chinese historian Sima Qian wrote an account, roughly a century after the emperor's passing, describing possible booby traps hidden inside the tomb. Historians believe that the craftsmen were allegedly ordered to create crossbows and primed arrows, poised to shoot at anyone attempting to enter the tomb. Additionally, the tomb was said to contain a complex system of mercury, imitating rivers and seas, which were said to flow mechanically. A group of farmers, in 1974, in the Shaanxi province of China, made the extraordinary archaeological discovery that would stun the world. While digging in a seemingly ordinary field, they unearthed fragments of a clay human figure. This was merely the beginning of a much larger revelation. Subsequent archaeological excavations revealed that the field was situated above numerous pits filled with thousands of life-size terracotta models. These figures, meticulously crafted to represent soldiers, war horses, acrobats, esteemed officials, and various animals, were part of what is now known as the Terracotta Army. The purpose of this vast army of clay was to guard the nearby mausoleum of Qin Shi Huang, the formidable first emperor of the Qin dynasty who ruled from 221 to 210 BCE. Despite the extensive exploration of the necropolis surrounding the mausoleum, the emperor's tomb itself remains unopened, its secrets undisturbed for over 2000 years. The reluctance to open the tomb stems from concerns about potential damage to the site and the loss of invaluable historical information. Current archaeological techniques are invasive and carry a high risk of causing irreparable harm. The disastrous excavation of the city of Troy in the 1870s by Heinrich Schliemann serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of hasty and naive archaeological practices. Scientists have proposed non-invasive techniques to examine the tomb, such as using muons, subatomic particles produced when cosmic rays collide with atoms in the Earth's atmosphere. These particles can penetrate structures like an advanced X-ray. However, these proposals have yet to gain significant traction. Opening the tomb could also pose immediate and deadly dangers. Ancient Chinese historian Sima Qian, writing around 100 years after Qin Shi Huang's death, described booby traps designed to kill any intruder. He wrote of crossbows and arrows primed to shoot, and rivers of mercury designed to simulate the natural waterways of China. While the threat of 2,000-year-old weapons may seem far-fetched, the danger of mercury is very real. Recent scientific studies have found significantly higher levels of mercury around the tomb than expected, suggesting that the toxic element may be escaping through cracks in the structure. For now, the tomb of Qin Shi Huang remains sealed, its mysteries preserved. Yet, as scientific advancements continue, it may only be a matter of time before we can safely uncover the secrets that have lain undisturbed for over two millennia.